Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, The Plumbing Gurus. My name is Clayton. On this channel, we're striving to save you money and keep you informed on all the proper plumbing practices. This is an on-site edition video. Uh, so what we did here is we ran a hot hose bib to the back of this house. Um, so instead of uh, cutting out drywall and fishing a water line all the way back to the mechanical room, which is the proper way to do it, um, but in this situation, the basement was developed, so we didn't want to have to cut all that drywall and cause extra damages and extra money uh, to do the job. So what we did is we just drilled a hole right behind the kitchen sink on the outside of the house. and We put, shoved in a hose bib and we ran the hot water for that hose bib off. We teed it off off the hot line that runs to the kitchen sink. Uh, let me show you how that looks here. Uh, really easy to do. So uh, what I did here is this is the hot line that would have come teed off for the uh, dishwasher it would have come straight up and tied into the hot off the sink so to make my life easier uh, what I did is I'll show you over here up on this side here you can see the hose bib that I drilled so what I did is I drilled the uh, pilot uh, hole or pilot bit from this side of the cap of the um, wall and I drilled it to go outside um, to make sure that I was safe I was in I wanted to have this hose bib up out of the way kind of thing um, so that's how I got that hole and then once I had my pilot hole drilled I went ahead and drilled my hole outside and then I drilled my hole inside as well so once I got the hose bib mounted and I'll show you outside um, the, the hose bib that's mounted I just ran my water line down and I put a valve right away with a little drain valve on my valve as well so at any time in the winter I can shut this off, I can drain my hose bib outside and I can also bleed the water that's trapped in here if I ever need to, but I'll leave that on. Because here in Canada, if you're watching from somewhere where it doesn't get into freezing temperatures, here in Canada uh, we have to, we have to uh, drain our hose bibs for winter months or else they will freeze and they will burst and they will cause you a significant amount of damage. So from there all I did is I just ran down, I did a new T here because this might be a little different everywhere, every sink that you do. Some might be copper, some might be PEX, but it's still going to be the same basic idea. Uh, so all I did is I just ran, I just put another T in for the sink hot here and I just 90 it down there. So it's a pretty easy um, situation. Uh, we made a difficult situation pretty easy. So, and you can do this, it's a fraction of the cost of running a water line back to the mechanical room if your basement's already developed. I'm not saying you can't do it, but, but this is a definitely a simpler and easier way to do it if the homeowner is not too picky on exactly where their hose bib comes uh, outside. And let me show you what I mean by that. So we'll take a step outside. It is raining outside. Get my shoes on. So you can see it's not the most ideal spot for a hose bib here. It's not the most ideal spot for a hose bib, but it's gonna do the trick. Um, unfortunately, you know, ideally we would have it down here or on the other side of the, the house there. Um, but as for now, we have it here. At least they have a hot hose bib here. It's gonna serve its purpose. I mean, a hot hose bib is good for I would say just for like little minor cleaning. If you got a small pool, you want to warm up for the kids, uh, that kind of stuff. So it's not something that you're going to be using all the time. So for the inconvenience for it being here, uh, we figured that it was worth having the hot hose bib come out here rather than having to go through the basement and go through all of those issues with uh, the drywall. So anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, if you guys have uh, any comments or uh, if you need any help, uh, leave us a comment below. Uh, I think if you guys have any different ways that you would do it or any suggestions or whatever, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also give us a like if you liked the video. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.